Uh, the Christmas spirit's coming. Please welcome Ice Cube. <laughs> How are you? I'm chilling. How you feeling? Man? I'm feeling good. I have seen so many Christmas movies, and I started to think, you know, they've done it all. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah. But I've never seen someone beaten with a Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas in the hood. <laughs> you know? I didn't realize it could be a weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely can be a weapon around Christmas time, you know. So if you don't get what you want, just pick up that tree, man. Do a little damage. <laughs> this is a good show for children to see. <laughs> pick up that tree and hit someone with it. Did that hurt, by the way, or you were fine with that? Hell yeah, it hurt. You do your own stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, I had to do that about a... Uh, it took about an hour and a half, two hours to get the shot down, man, and right. get hit with that tree that long. See, that's where I would call for a stunt guy to come in. I would actually call for a stunt guy to do just about everything if I was in the movies. I wouldn't want to be hit by a Christmas tree. Now, now they had a stunt guy, but the, but the stunt guy was the guy hitting me with the tree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I don't understand that. This wasn't really well thought out, was it? Not at all. Now, what's about this this other movie that's that's been out for a while that people really love, Barbershop? Yeah, it's yeah. got a lot of a lot of acclaim, and uh, one of the things that it points out in the movie is that in a barbershop, people have a tendency to tell the truth. Oh yeah. Something about being in a barbershop. Have you found that to be true? Oh yeah. You know, I go in the barbershop and you know go there to hang out, and you know they real cool with you for the first five minutes. But once you get in the chair, you know, it's always that one dude to say, go some more, sup? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> they, they, they tell you one of your movies wasn't good? Yeah, yeah, you know, they, they'll definitely tell you. Yeah. Yeah, they'll definitely tell you when, when And they start, like, suck. picking apart your songs or something they didn't like that you did? They just... Anything, you know, nobody's exempt at the barbershop. See, that's why I cut my own hair. You know, they'll, that's they'll... Why... <laughs> I don't want to go in there. You suck, man. I don't yeah, want to hear that. Know, getting in that tie sucks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What do you think of this one? It's pretty cool, you know. I'm I need sorry. some help with my style, don't yeah, I? Look, you shouldn't have took that little guy you had with you. <laughs> Tell somebody else, man. I think you're right. Maybe, yeah. maybe you'd go with me sometime. Yeah, you wouldn't man, take I, me to Barney's, would you? Not at all, not at all. You know, we, we hook you up in some Sean John or some Fat Farm or some FUBU, something like that. I'll hook you you know what? We had... We had uh, Puffy uh, was here, and he actually, we, we did a thing where he hooked me up with some of that stuff. I could not pull it off, oh, you know? You know, I look like I Opie wandered into the hood, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out. I just couldn't pull it off. I, I don't have the face for it. I got this big, giant pumpkin head. It didn't look right. Yeah, yeah, stick to the suit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hold back. Suddenly we're in a barbershop here. <laughs> what would they be saying about, uh, say, if you were in a barbershop right now and, and the subject of Michael Jackson came up, what would they be saying, you think? You know, people wouldn't mind Michael Jackson, you know, uh, making a mistake with his kid, but, but the part that everybody would trip on was, why does he have that damn towel over their head? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, what's that about? I mean, you, either you're showing the kids or you're not showing the kids. You know right. what I'm saying? But this... I think that was his way of like, I'm going to show you my kid, or am I? You know? Yeah, you know. It was just bizarre. It's just bizarre. That was strange. Now, have you ever been in a barbershop and, and gone for a hairstyle that you now totally regret? Oh, yeah. You know, it's a hairstyle out there that used to be out there. Hopefully, it ain't out there no more. It's called the shag. And it's like a, a white version of a mullet. It's a black version of a mullet. A black version white. of a mullet. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's small on top, long in back. Damn near look like King Tut. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I ever saw a black guy with the with that. Is, is that been, was popular? It's been played out. You know, it's been played out for about thirty years now. Almost. Oh, for thirty <laughs> years. Okay. So, did you ever get the one where it's like it goes at an angle? Like you have them shave your head at an angle. The Gumby. Is, is that called the Gumby? That's called the Gumby. Okay, I didn't know there was a name. Now I do. Yeah. The Gumby. Did you ever get the Gumby? No, no, no. I didn't get the Gumby. I mean, you might have a little bit. <laughs> But I, I could get the Gumby. You can get the Gumby. I might look good with the Gumby. I look like Gumby. My, my skull is naturally shaped that way. <laughs> you don't want to know about that. Um, you know what I love? Every time you're on the show and I say Ice Cube is here, I think that's a great name. Ice Cube. Yeah. That's a, I mean, I envy your name. That's a cool name. Was that your nickname? Yeah, yeah, nickname. I've, I've, I've had that name since I was about 12 years old. You know, my brother gave it to me on, as a joke. He thought I was being too cool. So he gave me the name, and I kept it. And, you know, now the joke is on him, because I done made a lot of money with the name. Right. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, definitely. 
That's, now, were there other, a lot of nicknames in your neighborhood? You know, I, the, the strangest one I heard was a guy named Barefoot Pookie. And, uh, Barefoot Pookie? Why, why, why Barefoot Pookie? He didn't wear shoes. Okay, why, po why Pookie? <laughs> I don't know why Pookie. Pookie, was, Pookie is his normal name. You know, oh, okay. dude, he was always barefoot. Right, right. You know, all the time. And he'd walk around without any shoes? like Walk around without, without shoes. I mean, he'd had a suit on with no shoes on. You know? Okay. It's Barefoot Pookie. It's true. It's right. True. And anybody else? A guy named, uh, who used to call Western Toe Hurt. Western Toe Hurt. Western Toe Hurt. That's a terrible nickname. What does Western Toe Hurt mean? Well, he used to, it was this old man who used to walk down this avenue called Western, yeah. and he looked like his feet hurt so bad that, you know, we start calling him Western Toe Hurt. We see him walking there every day, you know. Western Toe Hurt, man. Did you ever, did Western Toe Hurt ever hang out with Barefoot Pookie? Nah. <laughs> Not at all, but, you know, I'm trying to get them together, you know, maybe... Just get them together on a bicycle built for two, just yeah. to see those two together. Exactly. I would love to see that. Those are very cool nicknames. Now, uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, a lot of celebrities these days are bragging about how great they are at basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, like George Clooney, for example. Yeah. He's always mouthing off about how he's an amazing basketball player. Mm -hmm. And I've heard from a couple of people that you're an amazing basketball player, but you don't talk about it. No, I don't talk about it. I'm pretty good, though. You're pretty good? Yeah, I could take you. <laughs> yes, you could. Yeah, 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 People yeah. People expect me to go, I don't think you can, but no, you could. Yeah, yeah, you know, I do a little trash talking, you know. I make you slam the ball down and walk off the court, man. You'd make me cry and leave? Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. What if I got my friends, Barefoot Pookie and Western Toe <laughs> Then I might have problems. Then you might have a problem? Then I might have no, problems. No, I see, the thing is, I'll tell you something. I don't have amazing skills, but I am one cool customer out on the court. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, you, you seem like... And also, look at me, I'm a hustle. big freak. I'm like a big gangling freak, so I'd be one of those guys that's just all over you. I may not have the skills, but I would just create a blanket of pain around you. Yeah. How do you play against this? You can't, I don't know, man. You can't that's take painful. this. That's pretty painful. I could do this for hours. <laughs> You'd just be like, there's nothing you can do. That, that's pretty uh, horrendous defense right there. That was horrendous defense? This? Pretty horrendous defense right there. What do you mean? How You'd be so distracted. You'd be like, what's that guy doing? Yeah, I'd be pretty distracted. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like that. Are you pretty good? Yeah, you have an outside shot? Describe your game to me. Because I'm going to analyze little, little whether outside, or not I can... Outside, inside, you know. Outside, Mostly outside, inside. you know, man. I'm not that tall, so, you right. know, outside is my thing. But, you right. know, I'll take you to the hole a little bit. I'll show you one day. you take me to... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's basketball slang. For that's right, yeah, I, got mis I misunderstood for a minute. Um... <laughs> I'm getting all sad now. Uh... <laughs> That's great, though, but maybe, you know, I'm pretty good at field hockey. Oh, yeah? You know the thing where the girls wear the skirts and they have the sticks? No. I had to play that sport. I had asthma. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we're kidding around a lot, but let's talk about something serious uh, before we have to run here. Um, Jam Master J, very good friend of yours yeah. from Run DMC. Yeah. Uh, was uh, was killed just a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and this has got to profoundly affect you. I was curious if you're willing to talk about that at all. Yeah, you know, in in a lot of ways, you know, Run DMC, you know, I wouldn't be here without their music because right. they inspired us, you know, to kind of take it from the streets and, mm -hmm. and, and take it worldwide. And uh, they actually were the first ones to show at the people that this is a form that you could take nationally, globally. Yeah, you know, they was the first. They're like our Beatles. You know what I mean? Right. And they and uh, to see somebody like Jay get get killed is. To me, it's like seeing John Lennon or somebody get killed because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they wasn't about that. You know, he was about bringing hip hop together. And, right. And to see him go down like that, he wasn't a gangster rapper or none of that. Always positive messages. Always and positive. And uh, it's just a shame, you know. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people say it reflects on the music, but, you know, nobody really knows the circumstances behind him uh, being killed. So. You know, don't put it off on the music so fast, you know, just... Uh, right, people, I mean, it doesn't apply in this case. I think people were trying to say that, oh, it's just this negativity. We've seen this before with Tupac. We've seen this before with Biggie, but this is something different. This I is something that we don't know what, what, why this happened. Exactly, you know, so, you know, it's just, we all are part of this, this society, you know, even though that we rap or we do whatever, you know, we all can get caught up in what society has to offer, so, 
you know, it's just a tragedy, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that you lost a good friend. We all lost someone great, but he's a friend to you, so yeah. I feel bad about that. But thank you very much for being here. It's great no to have problem. you on the show. Uh, Friday After Next, which is, in the, you're doing a lot of movies these days. You know, trying to keep the bills paid, trying to keep the little, you know. Uh, you're probably keep... doing a little better than that. Uh, uh, Barbershop's out now, and people love that movie. Yeah, yeah, people, people love People really love that film. Friday After Next is in uh, theaters right now. So uh, check it out. Ice Cube. Hey, Very man, cool to have you, as always. Right. I'm telling you, this sequence, I'm going to do that. You'd never... Aaron Berge, Helene Exterowitz from The Bachelor coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, <laughs>